Okay, we're back live inside theCUBE, SiliconANGLE.TV production, an exclusive broadcast of uh, HP Discover 2012 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm um, John Furry, the founder of SiliconANGLE.com, and I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and we're here with Antonio Neri, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of HP's Technology Services Division. Antonio, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you, it's a pleasure to be we here. We last <laughs> saw you in LA, it must have been around February, I think, and we were uh, talking about Well, we about were in, uh, yeah, here when we launched the uh, Gen 8 products. Right, right, that's yeah. right. And, and we were talking about a new class of services right. and things right. are evolving. We're here at Discover, big, big event for you guys, obviously. Absolutely, it's very exciting. And uh, you know, technology services are the core of everything we're doing here. Uh, this week we just announced a new set of services in the consulting space to help our customers to transition to Hadoop uh, with uh, workshops, discovery services. So if customers are in that transition, we already have consulting services to help them. We also introduced new services as part of the information management with the uh, big big data uh, consulting services, which is, uh, which is great because customers want to understand what big data means and they have to make that journey to be able to get out insights from big data. And then uh, yesterday we actually announced uh, two new set of services, one around cloud consulting services uh, to help them, you know, plan, design, and implement cloud uh, infrastructure in, in that environment. And then finally, you know, as a part of the support transformation, we introduced the new data center care services, which is basically the shorter path to the converged cloud. So as you can see, uh, technology services is in the fabric of everything we well, do. Well, you know we love services. You know, we think yep. the services where the rubber meets the road. It's where exactly. customers really get the value. We just did a survey uh, just this month uh, for the Wikibon practitioner community, we asked them, which initiatives in 2012 are you going to look to outside help? And look at the things you just, the cloud yep. strategy, cloud deployment, big data strategy, you know, cloud management, so the, right. the ones that you just talked about. Now, of course, big data deployment, a dupe initiative is way down. Yeah. Okay, yep. okay, they're still trying to figure out what to do what with to big do. data, aren't yeah. they? Exactly, well, I mean, if you, if you were here listening to all the announcements and uh, you know, what the strategies of HP is around information management, uh, you know, with the capabilities in Vertica for structure uh, analytics, and then autonomy for unstructured data, and if you bundle that with the, our consulting services, we have a unique set of capabilities that we can help customers understand what big data is all about, and how to take advantage of the big data to drive business outcomes. So, uh, you know, forward. marketing in this business always leads the product. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and then, you know, services is, you know, Services actually you can develop very quickly. You can Correct. respond very quickly to these trends, can't you? Absolutely. But the, you're seeing a spate of trends coming like I've never seen before Absolutely. in this industry. Yeah. What do you make of all that? Well, I mean, uh, if you think about it, right, what's going on, I mean, this is a very exciting time in the industry, right? I mean, obviously, a lot of customers still in the traditional IT environment, and many of those customers are going through the consolidation and virtualization of that environment. And so, technology services has all the capabilities customers need to be able to go through that specific journey. Now, many customers are a little bit ahead, and uh, you know they're trying to move now into the, the 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 cloud, the private cloud. And so we have what we call cloud uh, rapid uh, workshops, so we can help them, you know, understand and assess what are the gaps they they have, whether it is infrastructure or whether it is applications to be able to move to the private cloud, and then. From the support perspective with data center care is a unique offering because we can basically take an environment centric approach on the data center to be able to manage and operate that with them and for them so that they can spend more time in the innovation not just operating the data center. And so with our combined set of capabilities between consulting and support, we can meet you know, most of the customer needs, but at the end you know, we drive innovation with our customers. And that's why one of the things I'm very proud about TS is that we take a very customer-centric culture, which allows us to not just listen, but innovate with our customers as we go forward. There's been a lot of talk this week about the Converge Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and one of the other things we found in our surveys is last year, nobody was doing hybrid clouds. That right. was not the predominant Perfect. strategy. And today, uh, today a year, year later, it's, it's really right. through the roof. It's the predominant strategy. Um, are you seeing that, and how is that affecting the service delivery? Well, I mean, you know, you think about, you know, first of all, I think HP has the best cloud strategy in the market because it's heterogeneous, okay, it's open, and it gives you the choice, all right? 
and 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 what that mean, and we work with a partner ecosystem. So from the services perspective, think about it, you know, a customer may start with a private cloud, you know, or may start actually with a public cloud to do some proof of concept, uh, so they can test you know specific workloads and specific application, then they bring it back into a pri private cloud environment for security purposes. But they may need some bursting into a managed cloud or even back into a private cloud. From the services perspective, what that means, they, the customers need a single point of contact to be able to manage the entire stack from infrastructure to SLAs through third party components of that in that open stack. So, yeah, trust is a big equation in all this because we totally see the same thing in, in, our, in our view from theCUBE and SiliconANGLE Wikibon that the single point of contact, because it's a complex set of solutions. Exactly. So uh, trust is key. How are you guys um, communicating that trust? Because uh, a lot of vendors just say, oh, trust is trust, you know, and they market yeah. trust. But you guys have to perform. Can you give some examples of uh, when you, your clients come to you and say that was, right. you know, where trust is well, a big part of it? Well, first of all, I mean, uh, you have to earn the trust. And the way we earn trust is through consistent execution. Um, we have, in technology services, more than 4,000 clients that rely on us to manage their mission critical environments. And that to me is a very significant vote of confidence that we can help them, you know, deliver specific business outcomes. So we, we actually provide mission critical services for clients that they are either manufacturing or they are in distribution. What kind of vertical, um, what verticals are, are really um, on fire right now in terms of both hot and also troubled? In the sense right. where they need help. Yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, first of all, healthcare is one of them. You know, healthcare is, a, is an interesting aspect uh, that we obviously partner with our enterprise services group. Uh, you know, if you think about, you know, distribution, manufacturing, those are other aspects. Um, even oil, right? Oil and transportation. Uh, very big vertical markets that we play very well because we have a unique set of range of capabilities that we can we talked about earlier on theCUBE, we were talking about um, the speed of business. And you know, with the themes here, big data, and it's great that you're doing the consulting because there's a lot of demand for that, and, and you know, trust and get a roadmap of what to do with big data. But you know, speed of data is about real time and, and, yeah. and those types of things. IT is slow. Yeah. And so there's a real emphasis on just speeding up, the, turning up the dial with IT services in particular to make them faster than cloud. You talk about bursting, great example. Right. Uh, retail might benefit from that and so on and so forth, the seasonality. Um, two questions, how do you get, in, how much time do you need to work with the customer to get that engagement going to, to when you first engage with the customer? And two, what are you guys doing to speed up the, the IT business? Right, so I mean, most of our consulting engagements are 90 to 180 days, you know, from beginning to end. You know, what we tend to do, we, we, we don't like, you know, huge projects that, are, you know, last for years. What we like to do, what we recommend our clients, let's start small in particular areas, and let's do it, you know, from beginning to end in a short period of time, so you can get some bulletproof, create credibility with your with your own customer base. And value, quick. And value quickly, okay, so that's Versus a way the, to. we're going to milk this account, yeah, outsource, I, run the whole I'm thing. I'm not interested in that at all, because at the end I'm here to help my customers deliver value to their end users. And so, I'd rather from the consulting perspective start smaller, pick an area, get it done, and move to the next. Uh, the other thing I talked, you know, I mentioned about data center care, the reason why I'm excited is because it takes an enormous amount of burden out of our clients, operate and optimize that data center uh, performance, uh, so they can spend more time in innovation. And that's a way to accelerate IT value from their perspective. We were talking with uh, the um, HP Labs guy earlier. Um, who was it? It was Colin Bash. He's uh, taking over for Chandra Khan over there at Labs and talking about the data center of the future. Yep. Really, it's an operating system. It's the holistic approach, as they say, which is actually a, a really smart direction and I think very relevant. Um, we're a big data instrument and everything, and, and uh, what is your consulting service mix of things, projects like that. Are you getting involved in a lot more of those kinds of projects with data centers where there's Absolutely. a re-engineering of that? Can you talk about, because yeah. that was kind of HP lab, but let's get to the reality yeah. what's so, going on. So, uh, in, in technology services consulting, we have several line of businesses. One of them is the data center transformation. Then we have networking and storage consulting services, as well as cloud services. But in the data center uh, transformation services, we basically provide several aspects. One is 
virtualization expertise. The other one is what we call critical facilities, which is both design and implementation, meaning that uh, our organization, if the client requires to do so, we can actually build the data center for them. So not only we plan it, we design it, but also we build it for you. Yeah. Now, when you talk about energy, power cooling, carbon emission, and so forth, we have a very unique set of tools in IP that we use all the time. A and in fact, we have many, many projects around the globe, particularly in the Asia side, uh, China, that they are using our capabilities to design the data center of the future. And you know, and they give because they give need it over there. It's exactly, and in India and in Africa, other areas too. Right, right? but they are kind of leapfrog into the data center of the future. They so have to. Exactly, and so um, and you know, they can. They can. They, they can. Have a ton of exactly. Built up, right? But but just to <laughs> give a perspective, you know, we have at uh, a certain point in time forty projects in the data center design and implementation space going on, and for us is is important because basically we give them you know the the help they need so they can, the investment can last a long time. Well, we'd like to get some of those use cases and, and, and share them with sure. our community because um, that's a real hot topic here. We'd like to, uh, if you can get, have your marketing person just send that over to us, we'd uh, like to get, because there's, there's a real conversation around that modernization, and that, that's been talked about, but with the power and cooling pressure, and there's no more space. Absolutely. I mean, so, well, <laughs> and I would, by the way, big with big data, is there's more storage, so. I think you guys you know. should do a piece on this because uh, I can have one of my uh, worldwide uh, directors to come and talk to you about that. He's the director of critical facilities and yeah. he's designing that, and yeah. uh, so we'd like to, to make sure. Yeah, that's really, yeah. it's important for society, but more importantly, it's right. a huge cost problem. Absolutely. And, and when it costs, it's cost, and if the functionality's not there, I mean, more and more people are going to be loading apps, DevOps yeah. is a hot trend, so these are really important, so I think that's, that's cool. The, okay, now my next question is uh, big data. You mentioned mm -hmm. Hadoop. Um, Cloudera's trained uh, a lot of people on, on Hadoop because they were you know, pioneers in Hadoop. Um, but there's a real demand for uh, unstructured data. What are you guys' uh, latest uh, efforts there? Explain more about uh, the services you're doing around right. Hadoop in particular, and then scaling up to the more the meat and potatoes, uh, if, as they say, OLTP-like services. Because Hadoop's good for batch and near real time, right. but not really good on the scale side. Right, no, well, um, Right now, what we have just introduced this week it was the Hadoop Workshop Discovery Services, because many customers, you know, still in the planning phase, and so we can help them understand what it will take to them to implement Hadoop in their environment. From the big data and structure perspective, uh, and I hope you saw this, you know, with the in, you know inclusion of autonomy in storage, we now create an IP with autonomy in the consulting space, so that we've come in, we don't only just provide, you know unstructured big data you know, consulting, but very unique targeted type of consulting service so we can move quickly to the implementation of solutions like autonomy. So you're using your own technology Absolutely. to move faster. Right, right. Because sometimes it's a matter of just finding what you need to do, right? Exactly. And so, and the point I want to leave the, uh, the audience here is that we actually co-innovate from the services perspective. Say that again, I didn't hear that. Co-innovate okay. from the services perspective between services and our business units. And obviously, you know, being part of the converged infrastructure space, we innovate with ISS products, BCS products. Yeah, and you have a unique product. perspective and IP access Absolutely. to product. And that's the key differentiation. The customers have one vendor to work with and they can take care of everything. So Antonio, we're talking about all these changes that are going on in the customer base. Um, what are your customers doing in terms of, uh, and what are they asking you in terms of help as far as reskilling, re becoming whether it's cloud architects, maybe Absolutely. data scientists, are they pushing you to do that? Well, no, I mean, it's not just them pushing us. Uh, for me, it's a basic component of our strategy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one of the things we do is, in a constant uh, approach, we, we go and train our people. And obviously, you know, a person who used to support a server now has to know more, has to know storage, has to know networking. And so, when we're going through the transformation of people both on the phone and on the field to be able to support more an integrated environment. However, one of the things we are making significant investments is the support automation. We talked about before with the launch of Gen 8, how we approach that, and my organization actually drives the end-to-end -end backbone of support automation across the entire CI space. So each of the business units like storage, network, and so forth, they don't develop that on their own. We actually provide the requirements to be able to create a unique, differentiated experience, because at the end of the day, we architect end-to-end -end experiences, and that's what it's all about. You know, 
delivering a unique and differentiated experience. Antonio Neri, we love the services angle. Uh, big time executive, you know, great perspectives, really you know, cogent strategy. First of all, congratulations on all the great work that you guys are doing. Thank you. Know, you customers I know really appreciate it. We talk to a lot of HP customers. They love the service that they get. Uh, you consistently score very, very high marks there. We really appreciate you taking time out to come on theCUBE. It's always a pleasure Antonio, to be here. Antonio, thank you. Thank okay, you Okay, we'll be right back here at HP Discover for SiliconANGLE.TV and Wikibon's uh, exclusive coverage of HP Discover 2012 with more great guests right after the short break.